what's up guys and uh, thank you for watching this video i hope that you are going to enjoy it uh today i'm going to be showing you how i set up my long range drone as far as battery goes uh one of you guys asked me the question that you wanted to know i own two batteries on most of my big rig if you've seen any of my videos on my aos 7 on my mario 8 fold and on my menta 10 inch drone i always run them with two batteries that can either be two lion pack or two lapo batteries and this is how i set them up all right folks so for the purpose of this video i'm going to be using those two gold line lion pack but you can also use lapo it really does not matter so i got two 6s 4000 milliamp hour rated gold line lion pack and the way i run them together is by using uh, one of those uh, this is a parallel wire harness xt60 connector uh, you can make it yourself or you can buy it uh, online i know they are available on ebay and i think some of the major apv drone online store actually sell them they are very simple and easy to make uh, if you are pretty good at soldering it should not take you more than 10 minutes to make one of those uh, the way it is set up, I do have a XC60 male connector on one side and on the other side I have two XC60 female connector and the wiring is actually very simple. On the male side, uh, this is going to be a main connector. Uh, this is the connector that actually going to plug in into the drone and those two other side are the ones that are going to plug in into the batteries. Uh, taking a look on the male side, I actually have two positive wire and two negative wire. And the two positive wire are going to go in the positive side on the female connector. And the two negative wire are going to go to the negative side on the two female connector. So as a result, you have a Y setup. That's why they call it a Y adapter and the only thing you have to do after you're done doing this is you can just plug in your lapos and voila you have one lapo now since we have them connected in parallel even though we have two i think i say lapo lion pack even though we have two batteries but once they are connected in parallel that make it one batteries and the way parallel connection goes is that when you connect your battery in parallel you end up doubling the battery capacity and the voltage stay the same so even though we have two batteries connected to make one batteries we only still have one 6s batteries but the capacity is not double because you're adding both capacity together so now we have a 6s 8000 milliamp batteries now the reason i do that is for two simple reasons uh, the first one is that uh, this is actually a much cheaper option than buying one big pack uh, usually the big pack you know my big pack i'm talking about 8000 9000 or 10000 milliamp uh, those usually go for about 200 bucks and 200 bucks is actually on the cheap side they actually usually more than 200 dollar but by doing it this way, I'm actually saving money uh, because this pack, I think, was like 85 bucks. So two of them, it's actually costing less than 200. Uh, another reason I like to own two batteries instead of just one is just in a case that one of the cells go bad. Let's see one of the cells go bad on this guy. Well, I cannot use this battery anymore. This battery is trash, but I still have one good working battery. It will be irresponsible of me not to talk about some of the safety concerns you may have in running LAPO battery in parallel or LAN battery in parallel. I think I'm just going to say batteries. Uh, the first one is that the rule in running uh, battery in parallel is that you have to make sure that they are the same batteries. Uh, what I mean by that is that you cannot mix match your batteries. If you're going to be running 6S, they both have to be 6S. You cannot mix 6S and 5X because if you do that, you're going to end up damaging one of your batteries or at worst, you may end up having a fire. So no mixing. For example, this is a big no-no. I got a 
lapo here and the lime part you do not want to mix them together because those are two different batteries the chemistry is completely different the cell are completely different don't do not mix match your batteries when you're running them in parallel make sure you're using the same batteries those two i can run them in parallel those two i can run them in parallel because they are both from the same company so i would say more likely the cell use are similar uh, in the same way you can all mix match 6s with 5s 5s with 4s 6s go with 6s 4s go with 4s 3s go with 3s another thing you don't want to do you want to make sure that you keep the same milliamp hours and this is for one simple reason let's say i'm running this guy which is 4000 milliamp hour with another one of this guy which is 3000 milliamp hours you're running both of them as one bad ways the only problem is that one has 4000 the other one has 3000 as a result you're going to end up draining your 3000 first or faster than you're going to end up draining your 4000 uh, batteries so when you're running parallel do not mix match your batteries make sure you're using the exact same batteries to run both of them together and again guys this is a safety thing i don't want you to get hurt i don't want you to burn down your house now, since I'm talking about parallel connection, I have to talk about another way you can run two batteries together, and that is running them in series. Uh, that is another one of my harness. Uh, this is a series connector, and when you compare it to the parallel harness, you can see that they are very different. Now, you can also buy those. They are readily available online and the way this is set up is also very simple we still have the little wire harness going on but you can see that i have the positive wire coming out of the main connector going to the positive of one of the female connector and i got a negative from one of the female connector going to the positive of the other female connector and I got a negative or one or the female connector coming back to the main connector. So I'm just going to put it here so you guys can get a much better view of how this is set up. And I'm also going to put a link, uh, a, a very nice website that actually go more into detail on how to set up your batteries in either a series or parallel connector. And the main difference when you're setting up your batteries in series is that, let me just plug this on. When you're running your battery in series compared to in parallel, what you end up getting is, of course, you have one battery, but the capacity of the battery is still the same. So this is still a 4,000 million batteries, but the voltage of the batteries has doubled so what we have right now is a 12s lion pack instead of a 6s lion pack okay so just to show you that now when i connect my batteries in series i'm keeping the capacity the same but i'm doubling the voltage i know you can be able to see that now i have a 12s lapo battery instead of a 6s so uh for drone use we really rarely use a 12s battery but i'll say if you have for example two 3s batteries you can connect them in series to give you a 6s batteries and as far as safety goes contrary to running your battery in parallel when you're running them in series you can actually mix match them you can run a 6s with a 5s a 5s with a 4s it really does not matter because you're only doubling the voltage you're not really changing any of the capacity but just as with parallel i would advise you to run the exact same batteries batteries made by the same manufacturer and also i will advise you to run the same capacity as far as a million hour goes because you still do not want to run two battery or different capacity because you're going to end up running one of them out faster than the other one uh that is pretty much it guys that was just a simple little video on how to run two batteries on any of your drone 
hope that you guys enjoyed and i will be seeing you on the next one thank you guys for watching